Lights up, Bronx starts middle. This is your principal, Mr. Gonzalez, bringing you your news for today, Tuesday, May 28, 2019. Today is a B day. At Bronx starts middle, we have something called the middle school method, building you a solid foundation for middle school and beyond. It consists of artist process, followed by growth mindset, add in visual thinking strategies, and artist palette. And all of it is monitored, of course, by base. The Bronx Art Soaring Scholars, reminding you to always be your best always, attend school each day, show respect for self and others, and succeed academically. Nothing like some Madonna in the morning. All right, middle school method, scholars, what it does, it helps you learn to persevere. It makes you a positive risk taker. Also, those visual thinking strategies make you a polished speaker, writer, respectful and kind too. And the artist palette helps you be organized. Those are all things that you can use in your life beyond middle school. And we're going to put a spotlight on the artist process today. Remember that this is the first part of the middle school method. And I want to talk about it. Well, it's the things that you've been learning in your majors class. It's what makes the dance majors know that before each combination, they must demonstrate, break it down, mark it, and repeat. It's like when the band members know that what is playing like one instrument means to listen intently. Also, what all of you do in your arts is warm up. Practice your part even while out without making a sound. That's something band students know about. Each one of those processes are things that you can take on and apply to all of your academics. And when you do that, that makes you a better student. Having a process is a guide, a roadmap, we want you to use the ones that you're using in your arts, in your academics as well. That's artist process. Now, the other part of the artist process is the palette. The palette helps you be organized. And even though it's part of the method, it also goes into that process because you should be leaving every day with your palette and it needs to be organized. And the one, two things that we asked you to always bring in it are paper and pens and pencils. Now, what we're noticing is that some of you are coming to school without this. And that is not good because already when you come without that palette, you're sending out a message that you're not ready to succeed. Consider this. Let's say Ms. Duffield is going to give me a ride somewhere. And she says, hey, Richard, come on, let's go get, I'll, t I'll take you. I'll give you a ride. And we get to her car and, she's, you know, what you need to start a car is your keys, right? And let's say she pulls out a stapler. And I'll be thinking, why does she have a stapler? She herself may be going, what am I going to do with a stapler? When you come to school without anything, you're already sending the message to the people there, your teachers and your admin, I'm not prepared, I'm not here to succeed, and you're sending that message to yourself. If she comes out and she looks at her car and she has a stapler in her hand, she knows she's not going to be successful driving me wherever she's to drive me. And I know I'm not going to get there anytime soon because Ms. Duffield has a stapler and starter car. You need to come to school prepared because even coming just without the materials, you're already setting yourself up to not succeed. And that's not what we want. So scholars, every day, paper and pencils, paper and pencils in those palettes. All right, moving right along, let's talk about the other goals that we have till the end of the year, and that's the goal of respect. That's right, respect at BAM is important because you need to focus and you need to remind yourself to be respectful. Respectful is something that you do. It is with intention. It's focused. And you communicate respect, and you always know that if you communicate respectfully, if you can feel heard and understood, even if they don't disagree, and you do the same for them. Remember, to show respect, you always lead with kindness and respond with kindness. All right, scholars, now the top three goals, again, are respect everyone. That means when there's one person speaking, it's one mic and 100%. The second goal is to respect our school, revive on time, bring those materials like paper and pencils to all of your classes, be on time, and respect our space. That means appropriate transitions with volume under a one or a two, and you are walking, not running in the hallways. Those are our three goals to end the school year strongly. Here's our call board for announcements. Scholars, we want to remind you each and every day to put those chairs up before you go. And coming very soon, Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Lion are off to see the Wizard of Oz. And you can come see it June 11th, 2019 at 6 p.m. at the Lehman Center for Performing Arts. Information on tickets coming very, very soon.
All right, that's it for me. And this is a reminder, you can't start without art. Or that artist process with that artist palette with paper and pencils.